Now, seven weather with meteorologist Jackie Layer. Now, we've been tracking the rain showers over the course of much of our Memorial Day weekend. We saw over two inches of rainfall over the last 48 hours, and we've seen that especially for Worcester, Boston, and even out towards Bedford, but down towards the Cape and the Islands, about an inch and a half, even close to two inches there, and we're already starting to notice those rain showers starting to push their way in across southern New England through the latter half of the morning hours right now. These will continue to push their way northbound, so into southern New Hampshire within the next, say, 30 minutes to an hour. Those showers are expected, but overall we're tracking that rain spreading in the southeastern Mass Cape and the islands. Boston, a few of those light rain showers now pushing in. That is reducing visibility at times as well. Back towards Connecticut right now, some heavier downpours. Those will start to move in to southernmost parts of Worcester County. Also, uh, as we look ahead towards the next hour or so, visibility has been reduced down to three miles in Worcester, less than two miles in Bedford and Boston. So pockets of reduced visibility. So just be mindful of that if you are traveling, we could see reduced visibility from one town to another. Current temperatures into the 40s for many locations aside from Boston and Norwood coming in at 50 degrees. Some of the warmer spots on the map right now. But those temperatures now similar to those high temperatures we saw yesterday and we'll likely see those temperatures not really budge all too much through the day. Those winds, though, still remaining out of the north and east, tending closer to 15 miles per hour. Bit of a breeze out there, but I'm thinking not nearly as gusty as what we saw yesterday afternoon. But today, still will be on the breezy side with the rain showers and the cooler temperatures. Timing when that rain continues to move in, still widespread through 2 p.m. 6 p.m. could see a break in the action down towards the Cape and the islands, but farther inland, some heavier downpours out towards the Berkshires. Otherwise, we're just tracking the steady rain through much of the afternoon and early evening. But by about 10 p.m., could see some embedded thunder associated with some of these heavier downpours. Just be mindful of that as well later on tonight. Overnight into tomorrow morning, we start to notice some lighter rain showers still scattered across the region by 7 a.m. Memorial Day. But by about midday, we should see dry conditions push in, still cloudy by midday. Then we may see some breaks in the cloud cover as early as sunset tomorrow evening. So maybe a glimpse of sunshine that looks to be the light at the end of the tunnel in terms of our Memorial Day weekend when we've been tracking the cool air and also the clouds and the rain. Looks like Monday tomorrow, tracking those showers in the morning and then eventually mainly cloudy skies by about sunset. But temperatures tomorrow a little bit warmer than the past couple of days. Back into the 60s as we look ahead towards tomorrow tomorrow, which is warmer compared to last year, but 2019 still one of the warmest Memorial Days when we saw those high temperatures in the 70s. And speaking of the 70s, we'll see those return as early as Tuesday. So just after the Memorial Day weekend, we're back in the 70s Tuesday under mainly sun filled skies, partly cloudy on Wednesday, high temperatures nearing 80, mid upper 70s through the end of the week with some unsettled weather Thursday and Friday and back to the 80s as we head towards next weekend.